And Mary Ellen is a certified nutrition specialist and licensed nutritionist specializing in plant-based nutrition. She is a good friend of mine and I hope you'll give her a warm welcome. Let's bring her on. How do I do that? Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got it. Hey, Mary hey, Ellen. Hey, hey, Becky. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How's it going? It's going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's were, a little different, but. Yeah. You were saying before we got on that you're just like working constantly. Yes. I have a full-time job. I do nutrition consults um, for myself and a clinic and, um, you know, I'm doing stuff with a blog. So it's a lot. <laughs> it sounds like a lot. Yeah. And how is your dog doing? Does your dog, you have two dogs, right? I have two dogs. Yeah. Do they love it? Having you They home? have never been this happy. I think dogs and maybe cats, I don't have a cat, so I'm not exactly sure how they act. Um, but <laughs> the dogs have never been this happy ever. They're always looking for attention and yeah, it's nice Aww. to be around them. So that's, that's the only plus really. <laughs> oh, Amy's saying hi. Hi, Amy. Hey, Amy. I'm glad you could make it. Amy's going to be on next week. Yay. I'm excited to see her too. It's going to be good. That'll be fun. So I wanted to start by talking a little bit about what you're cooking right now. Yeah. Cause it's a little bit hard. Like as a nutritionist, I'm always trying to say, um, Oh, Amy says cats are happy too. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I know Ozzy's happy. <laughs> if Ozzy's um, happy, then everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, so I'm always trying to, you know, get the healthy meals in. Um, so it's been a little tough because I haven't been able to get my veggies as like fresh veggies as much. Um, I could get some frozen ones, but the last time I was at the store, um, they had no frozen veggies. So oh, stressful. No. yeah. So I'm just doing like, I'm craving comfort foods, but, um, for our immune system, I'm really, really trying to like stick with you know, healthy whole grains. So what I make, what I've been making is, um, I call them bunny bowls. So, um, cause my husband calls me bunny and I love bunnies. So I, so they're sweet. like, they're like, they're like Buddha bowls. So basically I take a whole grain like quinoa or brown rice or something. And then whatever veggie I can find, um, I might put some nuts and then like either beans or tofu or like some kind of plant-based protein. So that's kind of what I've been living off of, whatever we have in the fridge, whatever I can find, and then making like a nice sauce. Cause I feel like sauce is a little, it just makes the dish, you know? So. I agree. I love a rice bowl with just like a good sauce on top. Yeah. We've but been that. doing a ton of comfort food. I am also, I don't, it's not that I'm having a hard time finding fresh veggies, but because we're trying to shop less often, we just don't have them around as much. You mm -hmm. know? And um, the frozen veggie selection has not been great. So we, have, I've been missing like leafy greens. We get spinach yeah. and stuff when we place a grocery order, but those are gone within a few days. And then I miss green vegetables. I feel like Thank we're eating you. a lot of root veggies right now. Yeah. And those are like grounding and comforting, but I hear you. I'm not getting the, um, oh, those, thanks, Amy. <laughs> I post all my bowls on Instagram, so. Well, awesome. I need to check them out. I need some inspiration. We're getting a little redundant. Yeah. A lot um, of chilies and stews and stuff. But that's warming, hearty, right? Yeah, that's kind Makes of what you feel I want. good. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm craving too. I'll do like a, I'll do my vegan mac and cheese. I'm vegan mac and cheese obsessed. So I'll do that, but I'll put beans and, um, like a lot of broccoli or like whatever else I could find in there. So I'm not, you know, comfy, but still veggies. <laughs> yeah. We've been also doing a lot of pasta dishes. I'm actually going to be doing a live with the Indie Craft Experience on Monday um, and show how to make my spinach artichoke pasta, which you can do with frozen and canned ingredients and kind of talk about like the pantry cooking build a pasta oh. casserole situation that we've been doing a lot. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll tune. Pasta. I'll tune in for that. Oh, I okay. hope you. But I need more. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> they did. They're doing them with all like artists that they know in town. They had um, our friend Andrew on. I think it was last week or this week. I don't know. Time doesn't. It's spring break here, so I don't know. Time doesn't exist this week. <laughs> but um, he showed how to cut your own bangs. I need to go back and watch that because, as you can see, I, I'm out of practice. <laughs> they're, they're not quite right. 
Still, I know. I, I wish I need somebody to do cut your own just hair in general. Like oh, I haven't yeah. gone for a while. I'm like, mm. oh, well. it's tricky. <laughs> Amy said she wishes she could send us some leafy greens from California. I Thanks, wish you Amy. could send us some too. Amy actually helped me out last week or two weeks, couple weeks ago. Um, I'm supposed to get my. It's called Imperfect Foods. So she hooked me up with that, and so I'm supposed to get my box this week or next week. I mean, I'm sorry, today, I think today. Um, well, it was supposed to be yesterday and then they were a little delayed. So hopefully I get some more veggies in today, but leafy greens, I miss them. Very cool. I love that company. They're, they use like, it's like ugly produce. Is that? That's it. Yeah, but I, but some of it I don't think is, I mean, I think it's surplus, but yeah, a lot of it should be like the stuff that they will put in supermarkets because it's not it's ugly, but who cares? Yeah, it all tastes the same. Sometimes it I think the, the ugly same. stuff tastes better. Yeah, and it's cuter. Sometimes it's cute. Sure, the carrot has two little legs or something like that. That's fine. Oh, yeah, my friend Rob <laughs> calls that a pants carrot. Love a pants carrot. Oh, there you go, pants carrot. I'll, <laughs> I'll call it. Now that'll be my head. I'll, I'll call it that from, all, from now on. <laughs> yeah. Amy, what are you cooking? Let's put you up on the – let's put a comment up from you about what you're cooking lately. <laughs> So your Put perfect produce box should be here in a couple days. I hope it's today. I hope so. I'm too. hoping it's today. It was supposed to be Wednesday, and then it was supposed to be yesterday. But I know they have so many orders, so yeah, it, it's tough. And that's totally fine. I'm not complaining at all. You so. should do an unboxing on Instagram or something. Or Sounds Facebook. good. I will. Yeah, I'll watch it. Sarah, oh, Sarah just got signed up for a CSA. Oh, cuts off. So we could get some fresh veggies to the house. First one comes next week. Oh, I bet you can't Yay. wait. Sarah is in Washington State, and um, it's tough times up there, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems also like Washington's going to be getting better before us. I'm in Georgia, and I think we're supposed to peak in the next couple weeks. Okay. I think my area saw a peak this week. I'm right outside New York City. Um, in New Jersey, and it's it was pretty bad in the area. So, um, yeah, I hope I hope everybody's doing all right. Me too. Amy just typed up what she's cooking. So she's making soup, salads, and pasta. Oh, you're having trouble finding tofu. I'm hearing that too. There's the sprouts here in Atlanta, um, or at least the one closest to me. Seems to always have a little bit of tofu, not a ton, but I do miss cooking with it more. Oh, but fortunately you still have some pasta in your pantry. Yes, thank goodness. We stopped up on pasta beforehand and I'm glad because there's like, it's hard to get pasta. Yeah, I was on Thrive, I, I do Thrive Market as well and you can get some pasta on there. Probably not the regular pasta, but I, I like to eat like the chickpea pasta or lentil pasta and stuff in this. So there's some on there if anybody is looking for some. It does. It will take three weeks, I think, they oh, said boy. to get here. But I figure, you know what? I'll have it and I'll, I'll be able to eat it at some point. Yeah. Nothing but silk and tofu. You know, there is a restaurant here, Christina, that does a salt and pepper tofu. They, um, it's like a, a cornstarch batter, and they deep fry it, and it, they use silk and tofu, and it is maybe the best tofu I've eaten in my life. We try to recreate Ooh. it baked. I'm still working on it. Cause I don't like to deep fry at home. It's too messy. Yeah. Or air fry. Did you try air fryer? I need to try it in the air fryer. I'm Please. worried because about silk and tofu. It's so like, delicate. Mm -hmm. I need to just try it. We have some silken in the fridge. Yeah. Oh, Amy is also gluten looking for gluten-free pasta. I have been gluten-free and like the chickpea pasta is like the kind that's most available here. So it's been fun to experiment with it and I kind of like it more. My family doesn't complain about it and I feel a little better after eating it. We're gonna yeah. Try. Yeah. I'm gluten free and I most mostly like if I have to eat something, I will, but I'm usually gluten free. So the banza and the, um, yeah, any kind of lentil pasta or anything like that has been helpful. So, yeah. Christina, if you put it in the air fryer, yeah. report back. We want to know. Yes. Yes. Whoever does it, let me know. Cause I'm, I'm, that sounds so good. So. 
Oh, air fryer cookie. I That's need to do that again. We just had a chocolate chip cookie fail. I don't even know what happened. I think there were some measuring mishaps because I was cooking with a child. <clears throat> Maybe I'll make it up to them with a giant cookie. Oops. Yes, I really want to try your um, your air fryer cookie. That, that always that looks so good when I see it. You deserve it, and then you just have the one cookie instead of like right, cookie. right, and just eat it once a day. <laughs> I'm accidentally tapping on stuff now. Okay. Um, awesome. I think, why don't we move on? Because it's getting a little dire. Let's move on to our happy place. I forgot okay. to play the sound. Here it is. I can't hear it. Oh, no. Hopefully, hopefully can everyone, everyone can hear it. Maybe everybody on Facebook can hear it. I didn't hear it. Oh, I'll tune back in. Um, oh. Oh, Sarah beautiful. said she had to hide it from that cookie from her children. That's always the best. Hiding desserts from the kids. I do that with chocolate bars sometimes. Don't tell them. Oh, Amy wants to know what kind of tea we're drinking. I forgot. We didn't talk about that. Oh, yeah. I'm doing ginger tea again since it's the afternoon. I am doing um, the yogi tea. It's sweet clementine, and it has um, stress support. Little thing. It smells so good. It's like citrusy and it has like um, stress um, support things like ashwagandha's in it. And then I have it in my little narwhal mug. Can everybody see? I love that mug a lot. I <laughs> it's love my favorite. Narwhal. <laughs> Narwhals. They're the, the unicorns of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, jasmine green tea is good too. Does that work? Yeah. Very nice. Delightful. So. Mary Ellen, tell mm -hmm. us about your happy place. So my happy place. So what's been making me happy? Well, my little walks with my pups in the morning, just getting out there, we go really early. So um, yeah, we don't see anybody because it's tough in a like a city to see people We're walking across the street constantly. But still, there's really not many people out really early. And then I've just been doing a lot of meditation. It's the only thing that's keeping me kind of calm and relaxed. So that really makes me happy, which I never thought it would like a couple of years ago. I was like, meditation, forget it. Um, <laughs> but it actually helps. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And then, oh, I'm reading, um, I'm rereading for the, you know, 500th time, the Harry Potter books. Really? Like, yeah. So, so is on Daryl. He's on the first one still. Oh, okay. See, we're on the same page, me and Daryl. Oh. Um, I'm up to number four now. That's so awesome. it just is relaxing because I, you know, you know the story, you know what's going to happen, and it just takes my mind off things. So those are my main things. I love to reread a book. I reread the Discworld books when I'm feeling stressed sometimes because I know everything's going to be fine. It's a world where everything works out. It's great. Right. It's yeah. So, so there's a couple of upsetting things like Hedwig. I'm like, no, Hedwig, but no, no spoilers. Sorry. If people still didn't <laughs> read the books. <laughs> I mean, I, I but, think the timers run out on spoilers for her. Okay. All right. <laughs> But other than that, I mean, yeah, it's nice to see good winning and things like that. So. Yeah. Yes. That's always nice. I think my happy place this week has been playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, we got, I don't even know what that is. It's a video game. It's kind of like The Sims, but very cute. It's a town. You're the only human. Everyone else is animals who walk and talk and live in homes. And um, you just run around and plant flowers and like collect stuff and make the town great it's very the music is soothing and it's wonderful dave is playing like in general we talk uh, about it <laughs> so you each play separately or like like you each get your own little town daryl and i have the same town it's called okay. Topedo, and then dave's town is mango mango and um we can visit each other's towns which is fun and then you can Aww. visit online daryl went to a friend's town last night that he'd never been to which was really fun Oh, that's cute. It sounds like my kind of game. Just me and the animals and some plants. <laughs> yeah, very, like, very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> Built myself a kitchen in my house. It's wonderful. <laughs> very nice. I've <laughs> been playing it probably too much because it's spring break. I decided to medium take this week off of work and yeah. I haven't really known what to do with myself. I'm not used to being like not working and not being like somewhere else. Usually if I'm not working, it's because we're traveling. Right, yeah. This is a whole thing at home, yeah. So I'm traveling to Topedo 
<laughs> Plant some flowers. There you go. Oh, I, I should look into that. I bet I'd like that game. It's pretty fun. I'll come to your town. See, if, if, Daryl, if Daryl lets me. Yeah. <laughs> he would love it. We love visitors. <laughs> you can bring us some interesting fruit. Okay. Yeah. That sounds fun. Christina says she's reading Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. What is it about? I've not heard of this book. I've never heard of that either. I am going through books more quickly. I'm reading Cameron Esposito's biography right now, and it's really good. Oh, cool. She's very funny, even though it's kind of heavy, but her writing style is very like conversational and lots of jokes. That's good. Yes. I love like fun, right? Like when people write well and they're throwing the jokes and stuff like that. Yes, anything with jokes. So we talked about, well, I mentioned that you're a certified nutrition specialist and a licensed nutritionist, but do you want to talk a little bit more about what you do? And I know you have some cool stuff going on right now. Sure. Um, so I help um, vegans. I specialize in women, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I help men too. Um, usually just seems like the women come to me. But so I help um, vegan women um, improve their health through a plant-based diet. So moving over um, from maybe the processed foods and stuff to the plant-based. I help anyone actually go plant-based, um, whether you're vegan or not. I want everybody getting those veggies in. Um, yeah, and then I, I do support for um, like more complex things like women's hormones or uh, cardiovascular disease, things like that. So I can do nutritional support for that. And then I'm very excited because um, I am creating a plant-based course. So it's how to go plant-based. So anybody who wants to add in those veggies, the whole grains, that kind of stuff from the processed foods, um, you can hop on over and do the course. I'm going to offer support with the course too. We have a, a private Facebook page um, where I'll do like live videos and question and answers and things like that. So I'm hoping to have that up in the next few weeks. So, yeah. That's very I'm exciting. Excited. Yeah. And you do one-on-one -on -one coaching too, right? Yes. Yeah. So a lot of my coaching is one on one um, just because um, I would like I learned all about personalized nutrition. So that was what my mastery was in is like personalized nutrition because everyone's so different. Like people can eat a plant based diet, but then maybe you need some extra um, different nutrients from different plants or things like that. Um, you know, getting rid of the refined carbs, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and like hormone stuff, everyone's women are the same but different too. So, you know, everybody can use like personalized help. How do you figure that out for a client? Do you like, is it trial and error or are there like lab tests that you do? Um, yes, I could run a number of different lab tests. So, the lab test that I run, like I can't do a blood test. Well, I, I think I can do a blood test. Usually, I like to work with somebody's physician too to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Um, but so I could check over their lab tests, see that kind of stuff. I can run um, women's hormone testing, which um, really helps with different things like cortisol. And, um, you know, if you have high estrogen, low testosterone, things like that. So I run those kind of tests. And then I can run nutrient deficiency tests. Um, yeah, so lots of different things. And then we could we take your diet and also lifestyle modifications because um, I learned a lot about how stress and exercise and sleep all like come together and, and make for one healthy person. So I help with that as well. So I put a personalized plan um, together for everyone. That's awesome. Do you feel like most people are getting enough sleep? Probably not right now. No, in no. general, people are not getting enough sleep um, or their sleep's interrupted, which you know, can hurt us. Um, but right now it's tough. We're also stressed and that can affect our sleep. So, um, yeah, to do relaxing, just do some relaxing things before bed, even like a nice little bath and stuff like that. Um, just to support our sleep. Cause it really is important. Um, but yeah, nowadays, I mean, even I, my sleep is a little, a little rough, but I feel like yeah. I'm sleeping more than ever. It's wild. I like yeah. get tired early. And then since we don't have to be at the bus stop in the mornings, I just sleeping very late. <laughs> I think no that's good. I think it's important. I, my sleep is actually interrupted 
like I'm waking up kind of stressed with like stressful dreams, oh. but I've been sleeping a lot later. Yeah. And like sometimes in the middle of the day, I'm like, I could take a nap right now this week, but I think we have to listen to our bodies. I think the whole world is just stressed and it's okay that you're a little extra tired. So do what, do what you need to. Yeah. Well, I think on that note, maybe we should wrap things up. I have a surprise okay. to make for Dave with Daryl. So I, and he, I know Daryl's very anxious. We're supposed to be in Disney this week. Dave, if you're watching, this is when you stop watching. We're supposed to be at Disney this week, and Daryl and I are going to turn the house into Disney World for him. Oh, very that's excited. So fast. We're going to make oh. Dole Whips, and we made signs for all wow. the rides, and we're going to turn every turn the couch into a pirate ship, and we have a lot of work to do. Oh, my goodness. You're the best. It was most of it. The suggestion came from a friend, and then the elaborateness came from Daryl. <laughs> we're very excited. I hope oh Dave can hear that. We've been keeping it secret for two days. Poor Dave. That is the best. And Dole Whips are my favorite thing. Yes. Like if I, I have to get them three times at least when I'm down there. So um, I just had them like in February when I went. I'm like, my Dole Whip. Chocolate so, covered Katie has a recipe and we don't have any pineapple, but we do have frozen cherries. So I think we're going to do cherry Dole Whips. I think oh. we have, still have frozen cherries. Let me know how that goes. I have frozen cherries too. So <laughs> I'll send you the recipe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, we'll have so much fun being Thank at Disney. You. So wait, before we go, uh, uh, where can people find you? Well, I have, I actually have two different websites. Um, the first is just MarielynValverde.com that has um, a link to um, my food blog as well. But um, so it's just my full name.com and you can find out how you can work one-on-one -on -one with me there or um, there's a sign up for my plant-based, um, my new plant-based uh, course. Um, and then if you sign up for that, you'll get notifications when it's live. And then I have V nutrition. So it's V nutrition and wellness, and that's my vegan food blog. So I have tasty, easy to make, um, vegan foods that, you know, the family will like. So Very yeah. cool. thank you. Of course. And you can find me at glue and glitter.com and I'm glue and glitter on all social media and I think we're all done. So thank you for coming, Mary Ellen. And thank you to everyone who chimed in on the chat. It was great to talk to you all. Um, yeah. Happy cooking. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>